the TV series Alice, which started in the 1970s, became really popular. It was based on the movie Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore. The story is about a woman who lost her husband and works at a diner to make ends meet. People loved it because it was funny, but also show with real-life problems. The actors in the show were great at making their characters feel real. They made each episode funny, surprising, and sometimes sad. A lot of people had a favorite actor from the show. Did you have one? Or maybe you liked the show for a different reason. Do you have any special memories of watching it? We'd like to hear about what you remember from Alice. Whether it's an episode you can't forget, a character you really liked, or just a moment from the show that stuck with you, we're interested in your stories. Sharing your memories helps us understand more about what made this show so loved by its fans. The TV series Alice, which started in the mid-1970s, is now out on DVD, making fans who loved watching it back in the day really happy. This show is famous for its mix of humor and stories focused on its characters, and it holds a special place for many people. Even though some fans think the show changed a bit after Flo left, it still kept its charm and popularity thanks to its great cast. Every character in the show added something special to the diner where it takes place, making it a classic in American TV. The fact that you can now get the whole series for less than $100 is a nice surprise, especially for those who want good quality versions of these old episodes. The production background of the show is also interesting. It was made by Bob Carroll Jr. and Madeline Pug Davis, who also worked on I Love Lucy and other famous shows. This shows that the show was made by people who really knew how to make good comedy and appeal to a wide audience. People often say the show is charming and a great mix of fun and easy watching. The fact that it's enjoyable without needing too much attention from the viewers shows how well it was made. The actors, especially in the first few seasons, did a really good job, which helped the show last for nine years. In short, this series is remembered as a fun and heartwarming TV show. Its ability to attract viewers of all ages and the skills of its cast and crew have made it a beloved part of TV history. In the TV series set in a simple diner, there was a special episode where Art Carney guest starred. In it, the character Mel made a special chili dish called Chili Con Carney. This episode was a good example of how the show included guest stars in its stories. The series was inspired by the movie Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, where Ellen Burstyn starred. After her success in The Exorcist, Burstyn won an Oscar for this movie. This film was important because it led to more TV shows and movies focusing on women's stories. The TV show changed some details from the movie. In the film, Alice's husband was abusive, but the show didn't mention this. They did this to make her more relatable and to keep the show appealing to more people. They focused more on her strength and life journey instead of her past problems. Overall, the show did a good job mixing funny moments like the episode with Carney with the serious themes from the movie. It changed some parts to work better on TV. This made the show popular and remembered by many. Polly Holiday, known for her role in the series, balanced her TV career with notable film appearances. While the show was airing, she was featured in All the President's Men and Gremlins. In these films, she notably portrayed characters who opposed the main protagonists, showcasing her range as an actress. Behind the scenes, Linda Lavin, another prominent cast member, reportedly had difficulties working with her colleagues. This strained relationship is believed to be a factor in the departure of both Polly Holiday and Diane Ladd from the series. The character of Tommy underwent a notable change in the series. Initially, Alfred Lutter III portrayed Tommy, but he was later replaced by Philip McKeon. This casting change brought an interesting dynamic to the series, especially as Philip's real-life sister, Nancy McKeon, joined him in two episodes. Nancy, who gained fame for her role as Joe Polniacek in The Facts of Life, shared the screen with her brother before embarking on her own successful TV journey. These aspects of the series highlight the interplay between the show and the wider world of television and film. The cast members' involvement in other projects and their interactions off-screen played a significant role in shaping the series' course and its place in television history. In the last episode called Tha 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 Tha, that's all folks, of the show, there were flashbacks of Polly Holiday playing Florence Flo Jean Castleberry. It's interesting that Diane Ladd, who was almost given an Oscar for playing Flo in the movie Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, wasn't shown. 
Her character Belle wasn't included, even in parts where they honored other famous guests like Jerry Reed. The reason for leaving out Ladd is unknown, which adds some mystery to the show's history. Linda Lavin was praised for her role in the series, winning a Golden Globe. Her acting made the show more engaging and played a big part in its success. The show was as popular as MASH in the Nielsen ratings for three years, 1977, 1980, and 1983. This shows how well it kept its audience over many years, proving its quality and appeal. These points from the curious absence in the last episode to the awards won by the actors and its lasting popularity show how special the show was in TV history. It mixed humor, real-life problems, and interesting characters to keep viewers interested over time. The television adaptation made notable changes to the movie's content for a broader audience. One significant alteration involved the character Flo, played by Deanne Ladd in the movie. Her famous line, Kiss My Honeydew, was modified to Kiss My Grits for the show. This change not only made the phrase more suitable for television audiences, but also helped it become the series' hallmark catchphrase. The show maintained a strong connection to its cinematic predecessor, Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, by including three of the film's actors as regulars in the television series. Vic Tabak, Dean Ladd, and Alfred Letter III reprised their roles, providing a sense of continuity and authenticity to the adaptation. Another interesting aspect of the series is its setting, The Diner. The actual restaurant used as the inspiration for the show's setting is located at 1747 NW Grand Avenue, Phoenix, Arizona. Initially named Mel's Diner, it operated under this title from the series' inception until 1985. Now known as Pat's Family Restaurant, the establishment holds a place in television history, with Google Earth still referencing it by its former name. The series' ability to adapt and modify elements from its source material, along with its use of original film actors and real-life settings, contributed significantly to its success and lasting appeal. This unique blend of realism and adaptation created a show that resonated with a wide audience and left a memorable mark in television history. Deanne Ladd's departure from the series brought a significant shift to its dynamic. Her character, Belle Dupre, left to pursue a career as a professional songwriter, a fitting end for her role considering her creative aspirations throughout her time on the show. This exit strategy for Belle was both seamless and consistent with her character development. Ladd's entrance into the show in its fourth season marked an interesting turn. She previously played Flo in the film Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore and reprised a similar role on television, stepping in as Belle Dupree. This casting choice served as a creative way to fill the void left by Flo, who had moved on to her own spin-off series. The transition highlighted the show's ability to adapt and evolve its character roster while maintaining its essence. A unique aspect of the series was the character of Henry's wife, Chloe. For years, she was an unseen presence, often mentioned but never shown. This built a sense of curiosity and anticipation among viewers. When Chloe finally appeared, portrayed by Ruth Boozy, it was a moment that paid off the long wait. Her sole appearance was a testament to the show's knack for keeping audiences engaged with its characters, even those off-screen. These changes and developments in the series underline its flexibility and responsiveness to its evolving cast and storyline. The show demonstrated an ability to seamlessly integrate new characters and phase out others while maintaining its core appeal. This adaptability was key to its sustained success and popularity among viewers.